Cindy, our survey of supply managers and businesses in the nine state region, stretching from North Dakota and, and, uh, and Minnesota in the north to Oklahoma and Arkansas in the south, the survey for the month of December was not that good. Now, it wasn't bad. It's still above growth neutral. So what we're looking at for the first half of 2012 is a slow growing economy. And I think uh, there are a lot of reports I'm seeing are getting way ahead of what's actually going on. I hear this really somewhat enthusiastic uh, consumer responses, and I, I think the numbers aren't quite as strong, certainly our numbers. And of course, we're surveying a midsection of the country that's heavily dependent on agriculture, but also international trade. So some of, the, some of it could be, of course, related to just this part of the country. But we're looking at slower, slow growth in the first half of 2012. What are some of the uh, problems that we could be facing in the year ahead? Well, well, one of the things we're not facing is inflation. Inflation, uh, our inflation gauge has come down, which means we're going to have low interest rates for some time now, the Federal Reserve. One of the re real risk factors, and this is a significant risk factor, is what's going on in Europe uh, with a potential default on sovereign debt, for example, Greece. I've got a little story. We've got, uh, uh, we got the, a Spaniard and an Italian and a Greek go into a British pub, and, the, and who pays the tab? Well, the, who pays the tap? The American. The American. In other words, right now the Federal Reserve has told us that they're going to provide liquidity for these nations so that there is no, I won't say no default, but certainly to provide any uh, liquidity that's necessary to, to keep the dominoes from uh, falling. I, I think uh, what we're looking at then is we're not going to see a default simply because the Federal Reserve the ECB, the European Central Bank, and the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, all those, and the Germans as well, all those in, uh, are coming together and saying, okay, we're going to prop up Greece, we're going to prop up Italy, we're going to prop up Spain for 2012. So that's a real concern of mine, and what it's going to do, of course, or what I expect it to do is give the boost the value of the dollar, and it's going to mean, what, what it's going to mean is agricultural commodity prices are not going to be that good for the first half of 2012. Energy commodity prices not that good for the first, first half of 2012, which is a problem for North Dakota and Oklahoma in terms of energy, but it's a problem for the rest of the region in terms of agricultural commodity prices. So the real key, one of the risk factors is what's going on in Europe. Isn't the Mid-America region sort of like the tail end of the roller coaster when things are up, we're down, and when yes. everybody's down, we're up? is sort of that way. And what we're going to see is the U.S. economy is uh, apt to grow a bit faster in the first half of 2012. So the gap between the two is going to close, meaning the, the mid-America region, the nine-state region, the growth is going to come down a bit and the growth in the U.S. is going to go up a bit. So the gap between the two is going to I expand and, and uh, uh, well, perhaps I, that's, that's incorrect. I, what will happen is the gap will close as the uh, mid-America has been greater than the U.S. and the uh, U.S. has been below. So what will happen is U.S. is going to pick up and the mid-America will come down. So that gap is going to close in the months ahead. So 2012, for the first half of 2012, is going to be slower for the mid-America region, going to be probably somewhat better for the U.S. What are we getting, in a sense, from the supply managers? What about their confidence? What do they think? Confidence, Cindy. The confidence index is looking pretty good. Again, I, I'm, I'm concerned that the actual numbers we're seeing are not as good as how people are saying they're feeling and how they're responding. And of course, ultimately, you got to have income to spend. And we're not. I'm just not seeing that. We asked the supply managers about their uh, expectations for payroll increases this year in terms of their own pay. That is about 1.6 on an annualized basis, that's just not good. In other words, income continues to lag, and, and you, there's a limit, of course, what you can spend if you don't have income growth. So I, I'm, I just think that, again, the first half of 2012 is going to be a slow growth period. Cindy, the, one of the real interesting parts is the trade numbers look better, and that's, that's puzzling. We'll have to wait and see. Exports should be coming down a bit. They actually expanded for the month of December with the value of the dollar going up. That makes U.S. goods less competitive abroad. So I would have expected exports to come down. They didn't. They expanded. 
Uh, imports did grow. Now that's again a little bit strange with a U.S. economy that's just not growing and uh, you would expect uh, that, that you, those could come down. But I guess with a stronger dollar, that's what pushed those up. Uh, for, and that's a, one explanation for the growth in imports is that uh, competitive, uh, goods from abroad became more price competitive. So that, that's, that is explainable by what we've been seeing. Other than Spain, Greece, and Italy, and what's happening there, what is the other biggest threat that you see to the Mid-America region in the coming six months, say? Well, I think uh, certainly uh, uh, energy policy. We've got a, a, an erratic energy policy. Of course, that affects uh, uh, the ethanol industry, for example. We've got the Blenders tax credit, which at this point in time is slated to end at the end of 2011. That's going to have some negative impacts, although I don't expect that to be that negative. However, we don't have an energy policy. We, we, we have a, a, a energy, monthly energy, uh, I guess you'd say a monthly energy uh, change, uh, an update. That's what it is. It's not a, it's not a plan. It's, not a, it's, a, it's an update. It's updated monthly. We've, that needs to be changed. For example, one thing right now is the export, lifting the, the export ban on natural gas. That would be very positive for this part of the country, certain states, of course, North Dakota, again, and Oklahoma, and other states. That, that's going to be critical. But the Energy Department, we don't hear the State Department, the Energy Department telling us, or is that ban going to be uh, lifted? And, and so, again, we don't have energy policy. We need a five-year energy plan and that five-year energy program, which can help solidify and assist some of the alternative energy uh, uh, industries, uh, companies, we're not seeing that. And it's, it's just, again, how can you plan? We've just seen, for example, a two-month extension of the, of the payroll tax cut. Two months. Now, how on earth can businesses plan when you give them a two-month horizon? We've got to have more sanity coming out of Washington in terms of looking ahead, and whether it's energy policy or whether it's tax policy, in this case, uh, cutting the payroll tax uh, 